Hey guys, welcome back. Carl Huff here. Today we're going to be building out our first grocery store report. So I've already done so here and I'm starting from scratch, but I just want to explain what we're going to be working on, what we're going to be doing, how our report is going to actually look. So I, I have three cards here across the top. We got a profit, sales, cost, and then we have some slices here so we can look across the years so we can go into this and start looking by the year. I also have some sales by the product. Then I have the sales by the region. So we can also see the Midwest region, Northeast region, South and the West region. So that when we click on any one of these products, we see the regions that's really performing. And I also have a sales by the region pie chart so that we can just look at the region in specific just by clicking on that pie chart. And then I have a line chart that really just show us what it looks like throughout the years through 2018 all the way through 2022 so let's get started with building our first report in power bi so let's go ahead and do a new page with this new page i'm going to go ahead and come here to my visuals and like that original page all i did was come here and i added this color and then i bumped the transparency down so when you do that you have that and let's just give this page a name and I'll just call it store report two you can call it store report one and then for whatever reason this is still plastered across my screen but you shouldn't see this once you start building out your visual so like I said we're gonna just start with the cards so I'm coming come here and add my first card this card will be the profit card so we'll just make this the size that it needs to be and we're gonna come here and say profit. So it says sum of profit. We don't want it to say sum of profit. We just want it to say profit. And now that we have our first card, let's go ahead and make all the necessary modifications within our format, our visual, so that we can make the other three cards, the other two cards pretty simple. So we have a category label. We're gonna keep that on, but we're gonna change the color to black. And then we're going to come into our call out value. We're just going to change our font to Arial. We're going to come down here to our auto display unit. I'm going to leave this at the thousands. Next, we're going to come over here to general. It doesn't need a title. And there is no header icon. So we can just turn that off. We're going to go to effects. And then we can come here and make this 50%. We'll make that 50% so it blends in with the background and then we're going to drop a shadow on this once we do that all we have to do now to create our other two cards is just control c and control v so now we have created a duplicate card but all we have to do now is come here and replace profit with sales so we'll do that and it's going to give us some of sales we're just going to rename this to sales and that is the sales and we just do another control v and we come here to do our next card and this is going to be our profit sales and then our cost so we'll just make this one the cost so we'll drag it replace that profit change the name here and just call it the cost so now we have our first three cards next thing we want to do is we want to add our slicer so we're going to come here and we're just going to put the slicer here right up in this corner so i'll just drag it right here I don't like things to be right at the edge so we're just going to keep it flushed so in our slicer all we want to do is add the year so it's going to add the year like this in the default but we can change this real easy just by coming here to format our visual we're going to do select settings and then instead of between we're just going to select tile once we select tile, we see that we get that. We can get rid of that header since we, we can clearly see that it's gonna be displaying the years. We can come down to our values, make sure our font is black. And then we can come to our background and we can change our background color to the desired color that we want. And I'm gonna keep it consistent with the rest of the report. So I'm going to hit that color and then I'm going to just bounce it off like so. And then we can come here. Like I said, we don't have any header icons, <clears throat> but we can get rid of this background. 
because we really don't want a background there and we can go there once we've done that we can click out of that the next thing we want to do now is we want to come over here and add our products so let's go ahead and grab the clustered bar chart we're going to just bring it here I'm going to drag it across here just like so and what I want to do is add the products and then I want to add the sales I'm going to come here and rename this to just sales and as we can see we can't really see the entire name of our products so all we have to do now is come over here to format visuals and we have an x-axis and a y-axis what we want to do is we want to come to our axis and increase the max area width so we'll do that first and then we're going to change the font and then we can just drop down the font size so once we drop down that font size we'll see we'll see more text here then we can just come here and change that we want to also make some changes to the x-axis by just bringing this font to black and then once we do that we come here to our data labels and we want to turn our data labels on our data labels are going to default at this gray color so we want to just go ahead and change that to black and now we have some data labels and we can come here scroll back up and go to general once we get to general we can come here to effects and we can turn our background off or we can just come here and type in 50 so that's what we're going to do we're just going to type in 50 and then we're going to just drop the shadow so now we have our sales by product the next thing we're going to add is our map so i'm just going to add the map here so we see our map placement has been added and once we do that we can come here and add state and then we want to do the region as the legend and now we want to add some bubble sizes for the sales so that we can tell which area of the map had more sales we can also come here we can also come here and modify this and so i, I want to add the instead of have the legend displayed across the map i want to add the legend as a slicer so slightly different from how i originally showed it but let's just go ahead and continue making the modifications on this map so we're going to come here to map settings we're just going to turn the legend off and we're going to keep the bubble sizes how they are we can also add some category labels in our maps but we're going to leave that off for now and we can also add some controls so we can do an auto zoom we can add some zoom buttons we'll just leave it as is but what i want to do is come to effects turn off that background and i also want to get rid of that title so now that i've done that i come here and add another slicer and to keep the same format I'll just come here and add the slicer like this and I'll just pull it across and instead of date and year I'm gonna add region so I'll just get rid of the date and now you see we have the region it's going across and we go to our slicer settings selections on values and bring down the font size of our values get the slicer inside of this area so that now when we click on it we can just say give me the west midwest give me the south and so on and so forth so next we want to add our other two graphs which is our pie graph so i'm going to give it to about right there and all we had here in the pie graph was our region sales so i'm going to go to some region sales and since we have a actual region slicer first thing we can do is go ahead and get rid of our legend and we want to come here to our dis display labels and i want to put those inside and i just want to do a date value and then i want to come here to just take down the size so that we can see what's going on and then if we come here to color we can just turn off that background and we can actually make the color white now since it is actual white and I'll just make it bold 
next thing I want to do is come to general go to effects and just like all the other ones I want to just change this to 50% and then add a drop shadow and then we can come here back to visuals rename this to just sales so now you know this is the sales by the region last but not least let's go ahead and add our line chart in here and well we're just going to do this by the year so it's just going to be sales by the year so we can see a line graph so i'm going to say give me the year on the x-axis and give me the sales and as my legend i want the regions so now we have you see what everything looks like and then i want to just change this form to just say sales by year and region then I want to come here to effects to do a format and like I said this is usually defaulted as gray for whatever reason but we're going to change this to black I'm going to come here to the other axis and change this one to black as well and then we're going to come up here to our legend and we're going to come to text and change that to black for whatever reason they they try to make them all gray and then we're just going to get rid of that title we don't need the title and then we come here to our lines and we can make some modifications to our lines and we can make them solid or we can make them dotted lines so it's it's really up to you uh, you can do uh, then we can add some markers to our lines and, and we can also add some some date labels if we add some date labels to it what we want to do is, is like I said change this color and then just decrease that font so that you can actually see last thing but not least I'm going to come here to turn off we want to keep the background on change it to 50 percent and then drop that shadow then we want to click out all right so now that we have this report done one last thing i want to show you guys is something that you can do that's very useful and beneficial is you can go ahead and come to the view and go to different power bi themes and change your theme just like this boom and now you've created your very first power bi report using 